Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude. Busting open the third deck today. Alright, let's see what we have inside here. So far we've been pretty lucky, only one Brobnar. 50% Brobnar concentration. Uh, let's see what today's deck has in store for us. Yellow Archon and Logos. Shadows. Oh my gosh, no Brobnar again. I feel like the luckiest person on earth right now. Briggs of Working Street, Locus. Uh, it's a weird Archon. Man, they got some really cool ones in this new set. Big wide head, possibly one eye. Maybe it's like shooting like a beam of some sort. All right, let's see what we have in here. No Brobnar. Wow, it's incredible. All right, let's see what we have inside this thing. Starting off with Shadows, and this is an excellent card. Treasure map. Amber never you play. If you have not played any other cards this turn, gain three Amber. For the remainder of the turn, you cannot play cards. Fantastic first turn play. Whisper, three power, elusive, action, losing Amber. If you do, you destroy a creature. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Too much to protect. Amber never you play. It. Steal all but six of your opponent's Amber. <laughs> There's two of them in here. This is really going to scare a lot of your opponents from rushing their Amber. That is awesome. Yancey Gang, five power, action, steal, and Amber. A second Yancey Gang. Umbra's two power, skirmish, fight, steal, and Amber. Pestering Blow, Amber never you play it. Deal one damage to a creature and enrage it. Hugger Mugger, 3 power elusive, play, capture an amber. Then if your opponent has more forged keys than you, you get to steal one. Hit and run, deal 2 damage to a creature, return a friendly creature to your hand. Breaker Hill, 1 power elusive, each of Breaker Hill's neighbors gains action, steal, and amber. A Vinda, 4 power reap, deal 1 damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. That was actually a pretty good look in Shadows. Big amber, great amber control. And now we're on to Saurions. Tribune Pompatus is 4 power, 2 armor. Each friendly creature gets a plus 2 power for each amber on it. Before the fight, you may exalt Tribune Pompatus. Okay, we had Hugger Muggers. So that can go up to 5 power thanks to this card. Regrettable Meteor. Amber in every plate. Destroy each dinosaur creature and each creature with power 6 or higher. Falafasaurus, 4 power. Reap, you may look at the top 3 cards of your deck. Archive 1, add 1 to your hand, and discard 1. It's a good card. Library of Polyosaurus, it's an artifact. Action, move 1 amber from a friendly creature to your pool. Okay, it's good. City, state, interest. Each friendly creature captures an amber. Okay, this is a great card as well. We have two really big amber control cards across two different houses. But I'm hoping we see a lot more Saurion creatures, because that's what really makes Saurions good, is they're big, powerful, great effect creatures. We got two out of five cards so far. Come on, creatures! Oh, there we go. Tricerian Legionary, five power, one armor, taunt. Play, ward a friendly creature. Fantastic. A second one of those. That is great to see in here. The Golden Spiral. It's an artifact. Action, exalt a friendly creature. Ready and use that creature. That could be pretty good. Maybe we even just used it on the Yancey Gangs. Senator Shrix, four power, one armor. You may spend amber on Senator Shrix as if it were in your pool. Play, reap, you may exalt Senator Shrix. This is always a very powerful card. It's made that much better because we have the two taunts in here, so you have a way to drop it down, immediately protect it. Heck, even ward this creature if you need to. That's awesome. Fane Lake Strike, amber whenever you play it. Choose a creature, deal one damage to it for each friendly creature. You may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. This Sorion is looking really strong. And it just got better. Imperium, one amber whenever you play it. Ward, two friendly creatures. Like that card. Brutal Don Auxiliary, six power taunt. Hazardous, two. So we have three taunts inside of Saurions. This is really good. Now we're on to Logos. It's Universal Key Lock. It's an artifact. Amber whenever you play it. Keys cost plus three amber. After a player forges a key, destroy Universal Key Lock. Wow. This card forces our opponent to have to go to a high amber count if they want to forge a key. And we can too much to protect all the amber away, taking away all the fruits of their labor. This is a really cool combo with that card. Chaos Portal, it's an artifact. Action, choose a house. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is of that house, play it. Memory Chip, it's an artifact. After you choose logo, it says your active house, archive a card. Tau Tau Vapors, draw two cards, archive a card. Okay, so we already have a decent amount of archive, some play effects. No creatures in logos, but we've only seen four cards so far. Another Tau Tau Vapors. Okay. There we go. Sanitation Engineer, 4 power, hazardous 1. Reap, discard a card from your hand. Good cycling inside of Logos. Quant, 3 power, reap. You may play 1 non-Logos action card this turn. Also great for cycling. Information Exchange, steal 1 amber. If your opponent stole amber from you on their previous turn, steal 2 instead. Hologramophone, it's an artifact. Amber W play it. Action, water creature. Okay, so I like that we have the archiving. Maybe we can hide those too much to protect. Maybe some of the steel cards we need to do. But we only have two creatures inside of Logos. 
I'm really hoping we finish out with some good Logos creatures because just about every house needs creatures just to help control the board. And oh, it's a second hologramophone. Okay, I guess it's gonna help us protect our Saurions. Maybe keep that Senator Shrex around a little bit more. Okay, Hapsis is a great creature. Five power after an enemy creature is destroyed. Fighting Hapsis, Ward Hapsis, and draw a card. Pretty good. And oh, we did finish off with a creature. Babbling Bibliophile, one power, reap, draw two cards. Not too bad considering we have two hologramophones in here. Okay, so light on creatures and logos. Uh, the other houses seem to be fine. A lot of big, powerful effects in here. This deck is looking pretty good just on the surface. All right, let's get our amber up. Felt like there was a decent amount, and the cycling from this Logos house is going to be pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I mean, it might be a little bit clunky. We're really going to have to see just how many creatures we're pulling off in here. Let's see. Okay, those could take Amber, but we won't count those. All right, so I'm hoping we get four out of Treasure Map almost every time. That's two-thirds of a key. Really big. So four, five, six. Hoping to steal at least one with every one of these. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 is not too bad. Might only be 15 if we find ourselves cycling it too much to protect, but I'm really hoping we can hide them with, thanks to the archiving in this deck. All right, let's go ahead and get our amber control now. Decent amount felt like in here, yeah. Universal key lock's gonna be part of that. And Shrix, maybe. Let's see here. Okay, not too bad there. Brick will be pretty good. Maybe put him between those taunt Saurion creatures. And all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven Amber Control cards. That is awesome. And some of these are reusable the Gangs, the Umbras, Breaker Hill, you can use a couple times, Polyosaurus as well. Some of them are big Amber Control cards, and we got them across every single house. The Key Lock will be in there as well. So Key Lock, two Too Much to Protect, City State Interest. Yeah, this is really strong. Loving that Amber Control. Let's go ahead and see what the creature count is. I'm expecting it to be a little bit lower simply because we had so many great actions in here. And we also had quite a few artifacts. It felt like, well, at least inside of Logos we did. So let's see... I mean, I'm hoping we hit at least 15, but that might be a gamble. I know it felt like we were pretty low here. All right, we have one, five, 10, 15, 17. Okay, so ended up being an average amount, not bad at all. We didn't have any big way to control our opponent's board, but we do have great ways to control their Amber, so that plus the Amber is going to be our way to victory. Let's go a little bit deeper in here, and let's see what sort of ways we had to control the board. I know we had some wards, and we could then fight with the creatures to get uh, some opponent's creatures off the boards, but let's see. I know we had Regrettable Meteor. Where are you? Well, let's see. Pestering Blow is kind of helping control a little bit. Failing Strike is pretty nice. Imperium. Actually, these wards from the Hologramophones are going to help us as well. I think we're going to have to use our creatures overall to fight and help clear our opponent's board if they got a big, heavy creature deck. Hit and run. I don't remember there being any great play effects in here. Let's just double check that. I guess returning a Legionary could work. Let's see. Nothing in Logos and only in Shadows would be Huggamugger. And you only want to return it if you are able to get the Steel effect, which means we'd be behind. And I don't really see this deck falling behind there. So hit and run isn't going to do much other than just do two damage to a creature and potentially return a legionary. Actually, there is an incredible amount of ward in this deck. Let's actually pull that up too. Interested in seeing that. Let's see you there. And is that all of it? I don't think we had any back here. We'll just double check. Okay, no. But look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five... Five ward effects. We could potentially reuse these. This hits two creatures, and then these are always reusable. It's going to make our creatures very sticky. And honestly, if we can just get that Senator Shrix to survive, this could be a big win. 
Might also want to try and protect the Whisper as well, because this is actually how we're going to deal with our opponent's big creatures. I forgot all about Whisper earlier, but it is imperative that Whisper stays on the board. A ward, plus it's elusive, does increase its survivability, so that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, this is a pretty cool deck, actually. I'm liking a lot of everything I see in here. It's got some great cards. The archiving really kind of helps take it up a notch, really build to some big turns, or I said those big effects. You know what? This is like a B plus. I'm feeling a B plus here. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this deck. I'm impressed with it. I haven't seen a deck this good in quite a while. Oh, could we have finally got past this Brobnar curse? Please tell me we have. I want to thank you as always for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.